Hey comrades, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Obnoxious Anarchist, and today we'll be talking about political correctness. I decided to split this video into three parts. Time to listen up, you silly liberal fruitcakes! First, we look over some basic dictionary definitions, along with the history of usage of the term political correctness. Secondly, I'll look into the academic literature and try to flesh out a more comprehensive definition. And lastly, I'll give my own little synthesis. But before we dive into the slimy world of right-wing trolls, let's see what our contemporary talking heads think about political correctness. To be politically correct just takes too much time. So your view is this is political correctness run amok? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, well, it's, it's the furthest extension of political correctness. I mean, th there's a creepy PC thing out there that really bothers me. And I'm not going to be apologizing for my crimes against political correctness. I hate political correctness. Hey, what word well, can I not say? This PC week, police. we came across you. And that really is what political correctness is all about. I would argue it's what the Civil War was about. ...situation where political correctness is put above public safety. Yeah, well, we have a, a kind of dogma of political correctness here, which is, is stifling conversation. We, we, Thousands of rules of political correctness that people lay in the path of people that want to make a difference. Everyone's shaming people and attacking people, and it's this fucking feeding frenzy. Ah! I love it. This is the left eating itself. That's what's happening. They're <laughs> eating themselves. So the uh, politically correct left is doing itself an enormous disservice. These folks I'm talking about, Hollywood, the universities, oh, these are the purveyors of political correctness. And but is political correctness a new phenomenon? We'll show you tonight that political correctness has been in the making for more than eight decades. And it seems that a deteriorating society is exactly what political correctness strives for. Political correctness is nothing less than a Marxist ideology. A Marxist ideology. So, is political correctness really just a creepy left-wing Marxist ideology hell-bent on social degeneracy and destroying free speech? Let's jump into some dictionary definitions. Lexical Dictionary defines political correctness as the avoidance of forms of expression or action that are perceived to exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who are socially disadvantaged or discriminated against. Collins Online Dictionary defines political correctness as the attitude or policy of being careful not to offend or upset any group of people in society who have a disadvantage or who have been treated differently because of their race, sex, or disability. Encyclopedia Britannica defines political correctness as a term used to refer to language that seems intended to give the least amount of offense, especially when describing groups identified by external markers such as race, gender, culture, or sexual orientation. So based on these three definitions, the common through line between them all seems to be more about adopting language that doesn't target someone who is already at a disadvantage and does not target people based on their race, gender, or sexual orientation. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty damn reasonable to me. Now, I do know that dictionary definitions can fall short when defining concepts, so it's helpful to look at a history of usage. Today, the term political correctness is used as a pejorative or an insult, but that hasn't always been the case. No one knows exactly when the term started to be used exactly, some sources say it was originally used in the 1700s simply to describe language and behaviors that were the norm at the time. Some other sources try to pin its origin to the Soviet Union, but we know that the term has been used long before that. In the late 1970s and 80s, leftists would use the term ironically as an in-joke to lampoon other leftists who were too rigid in their political orthodoxy and to critique a growing focus on rhetoric as opposed to content. The concept of political correctness was fully appropriated by the American right and really started to take on a pejorative nature in the late 80s and early 90s when the American Christian conservative movement started to question and oppose what they perceived as the rise of liberal left-wing curriculum and teaching methods on university and college campuses in the United States. Now, let's dive into the academic literature. Linguistically, the practice of what is called political correctness is rooted in a desire to eliminate exclusion of various identity groups based on language usage. According to the Worfian hypothesis, our perception of reality is determined by our thought processes, which are influenced by the language we use. In this way, language shapes our reality and tells us how to think about and respond to that reality. Language also reveals and promotes our biases. Therefore, according to the Worfian hypothesis, using sexist language promotes sexism, and using racial language promotes racism. Now again, I don't know about you, but that makes a lot of sense to me. In fact, 
the king of political incorrectness himself, George Carlin, also agrees. Because we do think in language. And so the quality of our thoughts and ideas can only be as good as the quality of our language. So maybe some of this patriarchal shit ought to go away. I think spokesman ought to be spokesperson. I think chairman ought to be chairperson. I think mankind ought to be humankind. On page 72 of her article titled The Culture Wars Reloaded, Dr. Valerie Scatemburlo of the University of Windsor writes that the contemporary meaning of PC was not articulated by liberals, progressives, or lefties. Rather, the repurposed PC grievances of the 1990s culture wars were molded by right-wing intellectuals and media blowhards. I admit it, I'm afraid and I'm angry that I'm not politically correct. As far as I can tell, political correctness is a paradoxical amalgam of postmodernism, which originated as a form of philosophy and literary criticism, and Marxism or neo-Marxism. Marxism or neo-Marxism. In a 1993 article titled To Reclaim a Legacy of Diversity, Analyzing the Political Correctness Debates in Higher Education, Deborah Schultz writes that political correctness has recently been appropriated by organizations and individual advocates working to attack and focus negative media attention on reforms in higher education. She explains that flourishing in the conservative ideological atmosphere of the Reagan and Bush administrations, a network of conservative foundations, think tanks, activist organizations, and key government officials attempted to sound an alarm about what they saw as negative changes in higher education. Conservatives operated with a two-step strategy on campus. First, they bring into question the way universities are run and portray tolerance as a cold word for preferential treatment. Second, they bring in the other message, which is vehemently anti-left. Although this is an older article, I would still recommend you check out the entire thing, as it gives great insights into how the right redefined political correctness. I've put the link in the description below. So, in conclusion, we can see that our contemporary conceptualization of what political correctness means is informed mostly by conservative right-wing religious ideology. Now, I know that this understanding of political correctness can still go too far. Some people change their language to sound inclusive in public, just so they can hide the racist positions they hold in private. I do admit that the extreme manifestations of what we call political correctness today can at times impede discussion and are usually embodied in clueless liberals who are only trying to virtue signal. We hear a lot about left-wing political correctness, where we avoid language that can offend people on the basis of their race, gender, or sexual orientation. But does a right-wing political correctness exist as well? The answer is wholeheartedly yes. And if you want an example of what right-wing political correctness looks like, look no further than the McCarthyism of the 1950s. If your understanding of political correctness does not take into consideration current power dynamics, then it's bankrupt. To be politically incorrect is to challenge the established power structures. If your idea of political incorrectness targets vulnerable people instead of the oligarchs, then it's not politically incorrect at all. When we insult the disadvantaged in order to insulate and protect the powerful, that's called bootlicking. I'm the Obnoxious Anarchist. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a good one. Hey comrades, if you enjoyed this content, please consider supporting the channel by sharing this video widely. Or leave a comment in the comment section below.